Hello everyone, this is Pablo again with Crafties915.com and I want to thank you very much for those of you who have subscribed and who have watched the last uh, video on print and cut stickers. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you for the comments. Uh, your comments and your questions make up the content of this channel. So thank you very much for helping me grow this channel. Thank you very much for uh, commenting and your encouragement. It really means a lot. So, you know, from my heart, thank you, you know, for, for all your questions. Um, in this video, I'm going to address uh, how to create and manage profiles in Great Cut 4. Uh, when you have a baby like this one, like the Expert 2LX, uh, you have a cutter that's classified as a entry level to intermediate level uh, cutter. But it's, it's a lot more than that. I mean, this thing is a workhorse. I've had mine for about five years and it has been, you know, uh, doing a lot, a lot of things. And so, you know, with this baby, you can cut a lot of materials. You can cut, um, you know, metallic foil. You can uh, cut holographic foil. You can cut um, glitter. You can uh, cut a uh, brick, scissor brick, which is a, a very thick material, cardstock. Uh, regular, of course, you know, regular HTV. Um, you know, there's a, a very uh, many materials that you can cut with this, um, but you got to know, you know, how to uh, set your, your pressure and, and your settings uh, because it's not a one setting does everything. You know, it's a not, a not one setting does all. Uh, you have to know how to manage your profiles. For example, if you're trying to cut um, on sticker paper, uh, you know, with the same uh, uh, pressure as regular HTV, you're going to cut through the paper. It's going to go right through it. And any time that, that your machine and your blade is cutting right through the material, you're damaging the cutting strip, you know, underneath, you know, this, the, this baby. And in time, it's going to, even when you change blades, it's going to give you mistakes because there's already, uh, you know, some, some, uh, uh, cuts in, a, in the cutting strip. And so, you know, to avoid that, you need to know how much pressure to use, to use for each material. So let me show you how to create uh, the different profiles and, uh, you know, how to do some test cuts. And hopefully you can, you know, use uh, this machine for a lot more than what you're, you know, currently using it for. So if you want to learn how to do that, stick around. Okay, so on Great Cut 4, I'm going to create a new project. So I click on File New, and I'm going to import a vector image, which is an Adobe Illustrator file. And it's this logo for a local... Um, massage therapy uh, place. But let's say, for example, that uh, I wanted to create this, this, uh, you know, image uh, with a Caesar easy weed. And uh, I didn't have a profile uh, yet on this, you know, so if I go to file output, and your default is going to be on your machine. If you have not created profiles, your default is going to be, uh, you know, output profile foil and the mode is going to be cut. Okay. That is for, remember that when you use the cut mode, that is for vector images. When you use the cut with AAS, that's going to be for raster images like uh, JPEGs and, and PNGs, you know, so I'm using vector images. Uh, my output uh, profile is foil uh, by default. So let's say that I want to create a, a, um, a new profile. You click on manage profiles. Okay, and you, you're going to click on add. And then the new output profile, I already created it. So I'm going to create a new one. New Caesar Easy Read. And so on the pressure, your machine 
is going to be at default 80 grams uh, uh, of pressure. Um, you know, you can change this. You can, if you have a brand new blade, uh, sometimes even 80 grams of pressure on this machine is going to be too much. So you can roll it back. You can roll it back to, you know, 70. Uh, and then if you're using uh, 15 inch rolls of uh, material, you can change this profile, you know, on the material width to 14 inches. Because, you know, remember, we have to account for, uh, you know, the, um, the, the, the margins, you know, the, the rollers, the pinch rollers. So let me change it to not 14, but let me change it to 13. Okay, so 13 inches. On the speed, you can leave it at 30 centimeters per second. And on the length, it, it, it doesn't matter. Okay, you can, you can leave it, you know, at, at that much, okay? But the most important ones are gonna be your pressure and the material width. And so now I have this Caesar Easyweed profile, okay? There's one more step that I need to take. I need to save it. I need to save this profile. So once I have my settings done, I go to manage profiles and I click on save profile. And there we go. It is saved successfully. So now next time that I open up my Great Cut 4, uh, it's gonna have that profile already set. Okay, so now when it, whenever I open up uh, my my uh, grade cut four, uh, I'm gonna have, you know, the profiles that I created and saved, uh, I'm gonna have them available for me. So for example, I have these profiles that I have created, I have the default foil, the new Caesar Easyweed that we just created, I have one for brick, one for Easyweed, one for glitter, and one for holographic. And that's, uh, you know, for vector images. And that's pretty much, you know, uh, all I use, you know, whenever I do like, like cardstock and, and stuff like that, it's, it's not often that I do that. Um, but, uh, you know, I could create one, you know, for cardstock, but for now, you know, let, let's leave it, leave it at that. Um, and so next time when I use my, uh, gray cut four, I will have those available. And so I'm going to close this. So now, if I go to, you know, file, and I'm going to import an image again. I'm going to import that Hecagems logo image. And I go to output. I have my profiles already saved okay so you can create different profiles so let me let me show you what i have uh created for example the caesar brick uh that one is a very thick material that one uh the pressure i have it at 130 grams uh the speed is the same okay and the material width i have i haven't changed it i really don't mess with it because sometimes I use 20 uh, inch uh, rolls, sometimes I use 15 inch rolls. So I really haven't messed with it. Um, I have the easy weed, which is at 80 grams. You know, that, that pressure for me is okay. If I need to roll it back, I'll, I'll, I'll change it on, on, on the fly uh, on the project, especially when I have new blades. Um, I have the glitter, which is at 120 grams of pressure. And, uh, you know, again, the, the width, I use different, you know, width materials, so I don't mess with that. And then the holographic. The holographic is a very, uh, you know, uh, thick uh, uh, material, very hard. And so I use uh, 135 on that one. Uh, I also, also use this profile for uh, the Caesar metal at 135 um, and then that's for my for my cut mode for my cut with AAS you know I have different uh, profiles for example I have cardstock which is at uh, 90 grams I have 
the default foil, which I don't I don't mess with. Uh, I have the Nina 3G opaque, and then that one is at 65 grams of pressure, and then I have the sticker cutting, which is at, at 60. Um, and you know you need to play around with your profiles, you know depending on your blade, and so you have to conduct um, you know test cuts. And so let me show you how to do a test cut once you have a profile already loaded. Okay, so we're in the the cut mode and with our new output profile, uh, Caesar Easy Wheat, I'm going to do a test cut. So I have my pressure at 70 and I'm going to take a scrap piece of uh, Caesar Easy Wheat and I'm going to conduct a test cut on my cutter and to see if this 70 grams of pressure is enough, uh, you know, for you know the the caesar easy wheat if it's not enough i need to increase it and save it again if it's too much then i need to roll it back and save it and so let's let's uh let's perform a test cut uh with that uh in a setting so i click on preview and uh you know what let me before i do that preview let me just make it smaller okay and then let's go and do a test cut okay with uh those settings you know so output 70 grams preview and i'm gonna i'm not gonna cut all this i'm not i'm not gonna do that right now i'm only gonna do a test cut so let's go to the machine and perform a test cut. okay so with my machine plugged in uh because the machine has to read you know the settings that you have on your program so with my machine plugged in and my scrap piece of vinyl caesar easy wheat already in place i'm going to do a cut test and so that cut test is gonna let me know if that is enough pressure or too much or uh you know whatever you know whatever you know the test cut uh, gives me so I have my machine online and if you notice when I press on it nothing happens my machine has to be offline now that it's offline I can do the cut test and it's going to cut that little square I don't know if you can see it but there's like a little square that it cut right there so let's take it to the weeding mat and let's see if that's enough. If 70 grams of pressure is enough for Caesar Easy Weed. Okay, so there's my test cut right there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a little square with a cross in the middle. And so I'm going to try to weed it. And there we go. Okay. So 70 grams of pressure because my, my blade is, is relatively new seems to work. Okay. But now let's try it. Let's increase the pressure to about 80. Now it didn't go through on the backing. And so 70 grams of pressure, it, it, it worked all right. But let's, let's bring it up to about 80 which is the default. Let's see how that works. Okay, so here we are at the machine. I'm going to take it offline and I'm going to do a cut test. Okay, there we go. And let's take it to the weeding table and see if that is too much or if it's just enough. Okay, so here we are. This is at 80 grams. And so let's weed it. OK, 
Okay, and this one, I noticed that when I weeded it, it was a lot easier to weed. It was a lot easier to weed. Um, it didn't have any drag on the edges. And so I like 80 grams. It didn't go through, through the backing. And it was enough pressure to weed, easy weed. So that is enough. Okay. And so you have to play around with your different materials. When you have a new uh, material, like let's say, for example, that you're doing stickers for the first time, uh, I can tell you right off the bat, 80 grams is going to be too much pressure to uh, cut those uh, stickers, to do a kiss cut on the, on the stickers. So you're going to have to roll it back considerably. And so I did it at 60. You may have to do it at uh, you know 50 you may have to do it at 65 depending on the age of your blade and depending on your machine okay so um you know play around with the different uh, uh pressures do a test cut and then wherever you know you decide that you like it then that's where you stay okay so once again thank you very much for watching thank you very much for subscribing if you haven't subscribed hit that subscribe button. Keep those questions coming. Keep those comments coming. Uh, like our videos, uh, comment, send me an email, subscribe, um, you know, and uh, thank you very much for helping me uh, grow this channel. Uh, if you have any other questions, you know, concerning uh, decoration and, and, and different materials to use, uh, shoot me an email or, you know, type a comment on the, on the, on the video and, and, and we'll see what we can do. I hope you learned something today and happy crafting.